Welcome, in this video we will see extracting data through union statements part 3 MySQL table and column names Information schema Information schema is a database within each MySQL instance the place that stores information about all the other databases that the MySQL server maintains. The information schema database contains several read-only tables they are actually views, not base tables, so there are no files associated with them and you cannot set triggers on them. Also, there is no database directory with that name. Information schema as alternative to show statements. It conforms to code's rule because all access is done on tables. You can use the familiar syntax of select statement and only need to learn some table and column names. The implementer need not to worry about adding keywords. You can filter, sort, concatenate and transform the results from information schema queries into whatever format your application needs, such as data structure or text representation to parse. This technique is more interoperable with other database system. For example, Oracle database users are familiar with querying tables in the Oracle Data Dictionary. Privileges Each MySQL user has a right to access these tables but can see only the rows in the tables that correspond to the objects for which the user has the proper access privileges. In some cases, the routine definition column in the information schema dot routine table Users who have insufficient privileges see null. These restrictions do not apply for inner DV tables. You can see them with the only process privilege. Now, practical part. Getting the tables and column names within SQL injection attack is often a problem and I have seen a lot of caution about this on the internet. Often, you need them to start further SQL attacks to get the data, so this video shows you how we would try to get the data on MySQL. Let's go to PWAP, I will enter my user ID and password and click on login. I will select SQL injection get or search and click on hack. First we will learn all tables are existed in database. For that I will enter one FS trophy union select one table name 34567 from information schema table hyphen hyphen space hyphen we see that all the tables are displayed here second we will learn all columns are existed in database now enter one hyphen union select one column name 34567 from information schema dot columns hyphen hyphen space hyphen you see that all tables columns are displayed here third we learn all columns are existed in particular table now enter one hyphen union select one column name three four five six seven from information schema columns where table equals to user now table equals to user with single quotation hyphen hyphen space hyphen we see that all user table columns are displayed here so that's all in this video on getting the table and column names within the sql injection attack in next video we will learn how to extract data from particular table that's all thank you for watching this video